Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you about couponing and you know saving money and all that stuff. I get asked pretty often uh, what I'm doing to save money, if I'm still on budget, you know, if I'm doing Dave Ramsey, blah blah blah. So uh, now we are debt free. So we you know have baby step one, we have baby step two, and we actually have baby step three um, done. So now it's more of, you know, like the big savings, like savings for retirement and college funds and, you know, all that type of stuff. But we are kind of taking a break on all of that stuff because we want to just um, save, 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 save to put more down on a house or put down every single thing that we have on a house but then still have, you know, money in our bank account or whatever. So, um, we would, you know, maybe possibly like to put like half down of the house that we buy so in order to do this we have to start saving money so you know ways i save money is by not eating out if we do eat out i try to eat off the dollar menu if we are going out especially here in the south where it gets so hot when you're out that you do need water and stuff like that so you're not like dehydrated or you know like your blood sugars don't drop uh you know packing snacks and drinks and all that stuff and Couponing. Couponing is a huge way that we save money. We have done it for years. We do it off and on. We are not in the like, I must buy everything and buy a thousand of it mode of couponing. We do like, let's buy, you know, a few of this deal uh, to last us maybe a month or two or three months. Uh, and then, you know, we know that the deal is going to come back around or something similar will come back around. Excuse me. So that's how we save money. So I have my lists, I have my coupons, and today I'm going to go to Publix, to Kroger, and to CVS and see what deals are out there for back to school, shop at places like Office Max and Staples and Office Depot and all those type of places. They often do like 5, 10, 15, 20 cent deals, stock up on those. even. If your kids only need one pencil sharpener, maybe grab two because you always know that your kids always come home, mom, I need this, I need that, you know, whatever it may be. So uh, that's how we save a lot of money, you know, shopping ahead for back to school, shopping clearance for back to school, shopping clearance year round. You know, every time we go to Target, we check those clothing aisles and see what's on clearance and grab things like in the next size, same thing for shoes, all that stuff. So today, I do have my list all set, uh, and I just do it by store. So like here you can see I have my Costco list and my CVS list, and what I basically do is I just write out what I want to look at, and then I get any coupons that I have to match with that sale, and I just put them on top, and then I fold it all up. I have my Publix deals, which are mainly a bunch of BOGO deals. And then I have my Kroger deals again with all of my coupons to go along with the sales. And then I also have all of my digital coupons on my Kroger card and then in my Publix phone number. So I do live in the South now and the South is definitely cheaper with this type of stuff and a lot better deals with couponing and all that stuff I've noticed. But you know, you can make it work in the North too. You just are going to be paying a little bit, but it's like... No matter what, you're still saving money. You're still saving $3 on detergent. You're still saving a um, dollar on pasta sauce. So it's like, you gotta take your savings where you can get them. So I have my water in hand so that I don't stop for a drink. And this water bottle I found at Target on clearance for like 70% off. So you know, you gotta make it work where it works. I have a cell phone. I have an iPhone 6. I don't have a 6S or a 6 Plus or the newest one coming out. I have one that's almost two years old now, but it works. It gets the job done. So. Um, these little ways are how I save money, so I'll definitely bring you guys along with me tonight and show you some of the deals that I find. Alright, so I just got done at Kroger and um, my total was like 136 full price and I got it down to $89.27, which like $5 of that was tax. So in that I got... Um, like a huge case of water. I got four jars of pasta sauce, two of the huge containers of Lysol wipes, a milk, four packs of granola bars, um, 
this like, stupid stick thing that you can put in the oven to pull things out. That was $3.49. I wouldn't even count that. Um, two different types of ice cream, three packages of more rice, uh, four jars of uh, salsa, uh, I think one or two packs of buns, a DiGiorno's pizza, four, no, three uh, Glad sandwich bags and their character theme, an Oxy stain remover, um, one package of Tide Pods, and two small cans of cat food, and then three um, Gain laundry detergents, two eight packs of Gatorade, and I think that's it. Yeah, so then my total was the $89.27, and then I also earned about um, 10 cents off per gallon of gas. So, you know, little bits add up, and I used my cash, so, uh, you know, that kind of keeps you on budget too, knowing, okay, you I mean, right now I just took a lot of cash out. I took my cash out for two weeks, so I'm all set. But, so I will do this type of shopping, and I'll go to Publix in a second, and then after all is said and done, then I go through and I will make my meal plan and then just get like a few odds and ends that I need for the week. So let's go to Publix now. So here, the um, L'Oreal is two for eight and if you spend 15, you get $5 back. So I'm buying four, which is 16 and then I have a $4 coupon. So then, and I get the $5 back. So it's like a pretty decent deal for all of that stuff. And now I'm gonna look for, it's on my list. Uh, we'll just keep in the beauty stuff for now. So I just wanted to say, I'm driving home right now. Uh, I just wanted to say that, you know, check your receipts and all that because, you know, you do need to make sure that you're doing the right thing and you're getting the right, you know, amounts for stuff or whatever because I definitely had something that was off on my receipts. So I had to have them fix it. But when all was said and done, um, because I messed up and one of my um, items was a secret and I thought it was a dove and that would have saved me another $1.50 off. Um, so that'll be returned and that's like $15 or something right there. But my total was $51 before I returned that stuff and um, I got $12 an extra care bucks back. So all in all, that's not a bad deal at all considering I got tons of like shampoos and conditioners and all that stuff. So I am gonna go and put my seatbelt on because you guys are gonna yell at me, especially now because I should have my seatbelt on. Um, but yeah, I will show you guys part two of my grocery planning and all that stuff uh, tomorrow whenever I see what we have in the refrigerator and make our list of things that we actually need. So now I'm at the point where I'm back home. I've put away all of my goods and now I'm going to see what I have and what I need. When I meal plan, I use these really nifty um, lists from Target. The One Spot always has something very similar to this. If not, you can just use a to-do list and write, you know, Monday through Friday or Monday through Sunday or however you want to do it. So when I meal plan, I try to meal plan for like a week and a half. I, I want to try to avoid going to the grocery store every week because I feel like whenever I do, I spend more money. So for me, I'll do the this week first and then I'll flip it over on the back and do whatever's left. So like today is Friday, so I'll have to do today, tomorrow, and Sunday and then this meal plan will kick in. So I just always write a breakfast, lunch, and dinner, um, a BLD on everything and I just go through and slowly fill out. When I'm going to fill out, I basically open both of my pantries and I see what's here. We just moved in a month and a half ago. Yeah, a month and a half ago now. So I'm slowly figuring out where I want things and then I'm finalizing things. So like here, I know, I mean, this is an ideal, but I know this is how it's gonna work. That's all of my baking supplies, my peanut butters, jellies, honeys, all that stuff my um like brownie and cookie mixes are up there and then breakfast is here so i know that that's working but i'm slowly trying to you know figure out what i want as well as we try to stock up does anyone need six salsas or what is that like 12 pasta sauces no but for my family we use about a jar and a half to two jars of pasta sauce every time we make a meal 
so that goes quickly especially over a week and a half where we do probably have something with a red sauce in it at least twice a week um the salsa salsa is really great to have on hand for like uh crock pot cooking oftentimes like the mexican dishes will call for just like a jar of salsa and that's really all the like season and spice you need and so i always have that and then over here i also have like a lot of my cooking stuff and then my paper goods so it's always good to see okay am i all set with foil this week you know do i need to start putting that on my list and then here are the more like snacky things um when the kids like when we do like a big costco trip all the huge boxes go here of the snacky things we're obviously um winding down a little bit and then i'll probably start putting all of my gatorades and juice boxes here as well so that like I have my breads here, I have like my chips and crackers here, I have my uh, Gatorades and juice boxes there, and then I have all the snacks here. So truly the only other things that I need to get out of um, anything to make their lunches will be the refrigerator. So I have all this stuff here, and then my fridge and freezer is not organized at all. Um, it's a system I'm tr still trying to find out, uh, you know, how we are going to do this. Uh, so this one it's kind of hard I have to just kind of like dig through it and then the same thing with the freezer I think I kind of know what I want to do now I'm working to get all of my meats up here and then I want to have like you know ice cream and um, chocolate chips and breakfast things that we've made and froze and breads over here and then over here will be all of the like vegetables and bag meats and you know all that type of stuff so. so to start i just open up my freezer and i'm probably going to just quickly organize it and then i'll take inventory Alright, so I managed to get all of the meat up here, and then I have all of my treats, like ice cream, and then I have some candy that I've bought to already like kind of start thinking about the holidays, and then I have buns and sandwich meat on top, sandwich bread on top, and then I have all of our bagged chicken, one minute Ellie, I have all of our bagged chicken here, I have chicken nuggets, the buffalo bites, the honey battered chicken, and the chicken patties, we just have a lot of that this time of year where it's summertime and the kids like to make their own meals so we have a lot of that but once school starts that kind of dies down and then we have my husband's one lunch left for the week and then we have one thing left of vegetables which is peas so um, I'm gonna go through this and write down what I have meat wise okay so now I've gotten to the point that we have um, six of the chicken packages from like Costco. So depending on what I'm making, I can use one. Sometimes I need to use two of those. We have two packets of sausage. If I'm doing just like sausage and peppers and onions, that's all we'll need. But if I'm mixing it with like a pasta, then I can use two meals for that. Um, we have six meals worth of beef. We have two big slabs of bacon and then I have enchiladas. So I'm going to look at my calendar real quick and see like, what days you know are we're gonna need to be out of the house or whatever all right so i've written out the dates i've written out um when my husband works so i know that i need you know how many lunches i need for him for the week so this week um he has a saturday and typically he tells me not to buy him one for those so I only have to buy him four lunches for work this week or, you know, count on leftovers or whatever. So first and foremost, I'm going to go look for breakfast items. And I can see from here that we have some, um, we used, we have some English muffins we need to use up that I'm going to put for there. Sundays are always pancake or waffle day. My husband always makes some and then he makes extras for the kids for the week. So I have 
breakfast for those two days. I'm gonna put another day of English muffins here because I wanna make sure we use all of those up before they go bad. And then we will do a cereal day. I think I have frosted in there. Um, so we'll put some frosted flakes there. Um, I'm sure by this time they're gonna want to warm up their pancakes. Um, I will have another frosted day. I think we have enough to do that. Um, I will do eggs one day and we'll do pancakes another day. And then I always leave one day open just in case we're out running errands or we grab something quick or they all just kind of have like a mishmash of what's left. You know, maybe there's not a full serving or whatever of uh, cereal left or whatever. So today for lunch, I'm gonna have them make ham sandwiches um, so that we can make sure that we're using that up before it goes bad. Lunch for this day, we will be home because um, my husband is working. So I'll put some like chicken. I wanna try to use up some of the frozen chicken to you know, make up room in our refrigerator. And then this day, I'm gonna put this because we always tend to go out um, on the weekends that my husband is here. And then this week, I'll just try to alternate. We do have sandwiches. We have some chicken. We have mac and cheese that they can do one day. Fill that in. Um, this day or this day one of these days may have to be switched around um, I think my kids have an event going on that day so I know that we will be in and out that day plus that's like the last weekend before they start school again so we may need to be running out to grab stuff you know last minute for them so what's in my refrigerator now I do have some bacon so I'm gonna do eggs and bacon and then I just need some cinnamon rolls and we'll do breakfast for dinner tonight and then um, tomorrow let me just make sure so um, Saturday night my husband works so I will do meatballs because I can make them during the day and we'll make them with spaghetti because I think we have plenty of spaghetti. I know that I have everything for that meal, so I don't have to worry about it besides my um, sauce packet. And it's just a packet of seasoning I use for my um, spaghetti and meatballs. Dinner this night. Um, we have a spicy pizza that I bought by accident. So I'm going to make that for my husband and I, and then the kids will have... Um, a regular pizza so I just need to buy a regular pizza uh, when I go but I want to use that up because it's taking up so much space in our freezer um, to, for me until we can buy uh, I should say until we can find space for a freezer and where we want to put it I'm kind of limited to this you know I really do want another like I want a fridge and freezer combo in my uh, garage it just helps me with life a lot and then I'll make a little salad for um, me and some of the kids so I just need to put um, salad goods and then we will move on to the main part of our meal plan and I've already done um, breakfast and I know that we have that and I just will need milk and then um, as for sandwiches I know we have bread cheese mayo lunch meat for the kids um, Obviously, you know we have plenty of chicken. We have the mac and cheese. Um, I do want to get them some like chips to go with their sandwiches. We have plenty of granola bars, all that stuff. And you know, at this time during the school year, I'm looking to see like what you know, what are we making for lunch that week, or who eats what, or who doesn't eat what, or you know, whatever. Um, so I've gone through one of my beefs. So I'll put as I'm going through the meat, I just kind of put what I've actually used here. Um, and then my pizza I haven't used yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the enchiladas for the day that we have the open house because that's just super, super quick for me because they're already made. I just have to put some sauce on them, cheese on them and throw them in the oven. So I'm gonna put that there and I can see that we have, actually I can't see that we have. For that 
that meal. I just wanna grab some Mexican rice. So I'm gonna put that on my list. And then that's um, a good, quick, easy meal for that night. Um, and I'll mark that out. And then uh, the other bacon will be used on the weekend. So I can put one of those down. I'll go ahead and do my sausage with pasta so that I can only use one of my meats and try to save the other one. I can see here that I have pasta, um, I have sausage, so I'll just need peppers and onions. You know, I know my recipes in my head. I don't, like, if I'm gonna cook from a recipe, I'll obviously pull that recipe out and I try to do a new, like I try to do like two to three recipes a month that are different. You know, sometimes we end up doing them again and again. Sometimes it's one and done. Um, but you know, for me this week, this is the last week of summer vacation. I don't want to be focusing on like heavy cooking. I want to be focusing on just enjoying this last time. And um, I noticed in the refrigerator, I have a lot of hamburger buns. I'm going to do cheeseburgers one night. And I can see that we have um, rice, so I'll do rice, and then I'll do a fruit salad. And so I just need fruit salad stuff. Um, and then the salad mix that I had will go on, um, like I can use the tomatoes and I can use the lettuce and pickles for this uh, meal here. Let me just put another beef. So at this point I realized, okay, we haven't had chicken. We're really, actually enchiladas are chicken, but we're kind of heavy on uh, meat that day. So I want to do a chicken meal. So I think I'm just going to do some barbecue chicken on the grill, get some corn on the cob on the grill. And what do we have here that I can use up? We do have mashed potatoes. So yeah, I'll just do mashed potatoes here. I don't love that, but... And then, um, like, I'll make the fruit salad and the salad for my uh, pizza on this night. So each night we'll just pull that out and we just eat more and more of it. So um, I'll probably end up pulling out the fruit salad for this night too. So I'll just put a fruit salad question mark. And then I want to take out one of my chickens. And then, so Saturday... I'm gonna just leave blank because I have a feeling that we will end up like going out or something like that because my husband works that day and it's just how it is. Um, Sunday is the last day before my kids go to school so I'm gonna make them, um, we call it cheesecake chicken and it's a chicken dish that's made at the Cheesecake Factory, that's why I call it that. Um, they all eat that and they all love that. Um, so I do have enough pasta and pasta sauce. I know I have enough breadcrumbs. I know I have enough eggs. Actually, no, I probably won't have enough eggs. I need eggs, and then I will need um, some Romano cheese for that. And we have plenty of oil for it. Uh, and I know that that's like a really good meal that'll get their bellies nice and full. And I know that that's, that weekend, we may run out and do some errands on Saturday, but then Sunday we'll stay home all day just to give them rest and get them all set for the school the next day. Um, so that is my second chicken dish and so now I'll do one more beef dish so we've done burgers we have done um, what else did we do bacon and eggs we did meatballs so we'll do tacos because the kids love tacos and I can see that we have um, you know everything we need for those here uh, I just will need the lettuce for shreds to put, you know, on top of the tacos. So, you know, I have my breakfast, lunch, and dinners planned. I know we have plenty of snacks for the kids. So now I will just look in. So now I just take my list and I go in my refrigerator and excuse my refrigerator on the outside. It's a roadie. But, um, you know, I see that I have my barbecue sauce and like all my condiments and those are really full so I think we're good on those um, I open this drawer which has my um, I don't know like my cheeses my meats uh, lunch meat you know all that type of stuff and I just do a quick organization here when I have more time I'll like pull out all these grody things that fall out um, 
and then I'll fill up as you can see here that's where Ellie has her uh, cheese and yogurt stash I'll fill it up because if I put it all in there at once she will eat it all and um, we have lots of hot dogs because they keep going on sale at Publix for buy one get one free so it's always a good deal oh that's awesome that's why there's cheese in here because Ellie decided to take it upon herself to cut cheese and so I have to fix that but this is why I try to go through here you know once a week and fix this up so we have Mexican cheddar I have lunch meat Apparently we have lots of Mexican cheese open, mozzarella and pizza. So I think we're good on the cheeses. I will need some mozzarella for the meal. And then when I'm all done meal planning, I'm gonna get the vacuum and just suck that all up. We have grapes and plums for fruit salad. So I know that I can add like strawberries and stuff like that. My lettuce is obviously going bad. So sadly I have to throw that out. And so are my cucumbers, and I'm not going to show you that because that's gross, but I do actually have tomatoes. Um, I do need diet soda for me. This is my husband's soda. This is where I put our meat for now because it holds well there. So I have about a, a little over a dozen eggs there, and then I have that. So I actually may not need eggs, and then we just keep like our leftovers for the dog or leftovers in general there. This meat packet, it's too big to put in here. So it just stays there, and then all of our leftovers stay up here. And then I've been painting, so I have my paintbrush there. Uh, sour cream is getting kind of empty, so I definitely need to get another one of those. But I know those are on sale this week. And then we have OJ lemonade. I will need another coffee creamer. I have my coffee. Apparently one of the kids opened a soda. Like, I just have to go through and kind of watch after my kids and, you know, just pick things up and organize things again. Uh, we like to have a lot of water bottles in the fridge and a couple um, Powerades because when we go places, it's much cheaper for me to just go in the fridge and grab, whoo, and grab a few and uh, have them set aside so that we're not having to buy drinks out. So now I'm going to edit the... Uh, grocery list a little bit more with some things that we you know may or may not need all right so there is my major list I will write it on a to-do list so it's nice and neat but I just need cinnamon rolls a few sauce packets a regular pizza salad goods milk chips oh I can take a lettuce off diet soda orange juice tomatoes milk um, some cheese snacks my lunch meat I don't like ham um, What did I write that was Mexican? Mexican rice. I didn't finish writing apparently. Um, a pepper or two, some fruit salad stuff. So I put some apples, some berries, and some bananas. Romano cheese. And that's all I need for a week and a half. So I think that that's pretty good. That'll get us to um, the last weekend before kids start school. And then I will probably go shopping that following Monday and get them everything that they need. I mean, do like a quick like lunch trip run. <laughs> But this is, you know, what works, and then I know what I have left for meat, and um, yeah, it's not, you know, set in stone. It's something that can change, and then when all is said and done, we're painting right now, so you can see these walls are done and nice and pretty. Yeah, these walls are done and nice and pretty, and you can see where I'm stopped there because I have to keep patching these walls. They just won't fill, but then I have this menu here, and we put everything there that we're going to have for the week and then um anything that comes up throughout the week we put there as like our grocery list for um you know whatever we need and i got this from target uh, a while ago and then we have our calendar here which i have flipped over for the month of july you can tell how crazy busy things are and uh sometimes like i will put in like on this special meals that I want to have or you know like block off dates that we're going to go out to eat or something like that so the kids know okay these are our eat out dates for the month um if you want something special on a certain day like they really when school starts they get into taco tuesday they really like that so um we also try to make sure we don't do pizza on friday because at their old school they got pizzas on friday so it's just little you know things so that is my um Food, planning, prepping, couponing, 
you know, all of that. We'll run to the store today and grab this stuff and um, be good for the week.